All right. Now in this lesson, we are going to see how we can use text blobs in built sentiment classifier. I mean, we are not going to implement any sentiment classifier from a scratch, but we are going to use from the text blob itself. We will be building our sentiment classifier in coming uh, sections. All right. So there we have a text blob dot sentiments. All right. Then we have here import and then it's actually going to be here a new wage analyzer. All right. Perfect. Thereafter, let's say we have here X is equal to we all stands together. All right, we are gonna win this fight. All right, perfect. Let's say this is the X and we want to calculate the sentiment of this one. All right, then how we can do that? You can do it text blob and in, inside this text blob, we are gonna pass here X. Thereafter the analyzer, the analyzer, we are gonna pass here this new base analyzer actually, all right. So this is the new base analyzer and this is very basic analyzer. All right. So we get it. All right. Now the text blob is created. Thereafter, we can simply call here a sentiment. All right. Once you, uh, sorry, we should call here the sentiment. All right. Once you call the sentiment, it will take a little time to process the data. Thereafter, it will calculate the sentiment. And it says that this object is not callable. All right. So what I'm going to do here, actually, this could create a problem. I'm going to create here a TB. All right. Then I'm going to say here TB is equal to like this one. We have got here a text blob. Thereafter, I'm going to say here the TB dot sentiment, actually. All right. I think uh, I had placed those uh, uh, the opening and the closing round bracket that is why it was giving me the error so it says that this is the positive sentiment and uh, the probability of being it positive is 91 percent and uh, probability of being is negative is just eight percent all right text blob uses nltk in in, in its back end although this new base analyzer is very basic one and it is not recommended to use the always so it is just a demo purpose later in the video series we will be developing our own sentiment classifier with various kind of uh, methods and with various kinds of other algorithms all those things we will be utilizing to improve our sentiment classifier all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching it i'll see you next lesson